What are we doing today, George? Working on this garlic. So you want to LS swap your 71 Ford Maverick. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> There's a Ford in my garage, and not even a cool one at that. Got us a what? 71 Ford Maverick? Yep. <laughs> 1971 base nah. model. <laughs> base model. Only the best. Three different colors, house paint, the works. Hey, don't forget the rust. But uh, what are we going to be doing to this thing? Hopefully putting an engine in it. By the end of this weekend. Yeah, so some of you guys that have followed the channel for a while probably have already seen the video where we fire his engine up on the stand. Um, he's got a f basic 5.3 um, flat top piston stage 2 cam, sloppy stage 2 cam. Yeah. Right? E1840P. And then uh, set up with a carburetor on the top. Um, Pretty basic, you know, easy LS swap. The only problem is these Mavericks don't have a lot of room in the engine bay for these bigger engines, which it's really dark right now, so you can't see. There we go. So these these shock towers, we're gonna have to notch these, get these out of the way for the exhaust manifolds. Behind the 5.3 is gonna be a turbo 350, and then keeping the stock Ford 8 inch rear end in the back of it for right now. Um, the goal with this car is to get it running, driving, and functional enough to take it to LS Fest West this year in April. So um, we got a lot of work to do, but once we get the shock towers notched and the motor mounts built, it should be pretty smooth sailing from there. Might have to make a cross member for the transmission. Hopefully we don't have to cut the tunnel out. I really don't want to cut the tunnel out, but if we have to, we have to. Um, and like I said, he's just going to run it with the carburetor, I think, NA for right now, right? Yeah, for now. He's just going to do NA carburetor for right now, see how it does, do kind of a shakedown with it. And then eventually, um, he'll probably throw a turbo on it, blow through style, kind of like my old setup. Hey, so look, look kind of nice, you know what I'm saying? Something you, like this. Hey, they're for sale. Hey, Everything's for sale. 20 bucks in a bag of Doritos? <laughs> 20 bucks each and they're yours. No. Hey, I got you. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, we're we're fresh back from the race, the uh, no prep race down in Casa Grande. Um, that was a lot of fun. Learned a lot. Um, I think we did pretty good, you know, for being probably the least experienced people out there, right, George? Oh, for sure. Like, it was tons of fast cars, and yeah, we went out first round, but it was it was neck and neck. Um, Barely went out. Barely, yeah. The dude, dude, hit the dude hit the scramble button. Like uh, he says he didn't, but I'm pretty sure he did. Oh. If you watch the one video with the camera on the car, you can hear you can hear something. I mean, I don't know. It sounds like something clicks, or like a solenoid engages, and then all of a sudden he just pulls on me. But he says he didn't hit the scramble button, but the video looks like he did. Uh, who's who? Who really knows? But it was close. It was fun. Um, but yeah, we're, we're fresh back from there. Um, we're going to have to move the S10 out of the garage so we have room to work on his car. But uh, kind of tore it apart. Um, I had a feeling since the, the boost on this with the boost controller was kind of like very inconsistent. Um, I was thinking maybe I have a wastegate that's like sticking or something wrong with it. But I took them off and, and tested them and they seem to be alright. Nothing really stands out that there's anything wrong with the wastegates so i have the wastegates off of it right now but i need to move it out of the garage so i think i'm just going to fire it up <laughs> with the exhaust leak and and move it out yeah. or and then unless you do you want to push it i can push it i don't care yeah we might just push it whichever one makes your neighbors less angry i just don't like firing it up for like 15 seconds and then shutting it off yeah getting all that fuel in your oil for no reason yeah so 
Yeah, we'll push this out, clean up the garage a little bit, and then we'll start working on George's car. Oh, I just closed my foot in the door. Okay, go ahead. Gonna have to go below that for sure. Below where you tried to start cutting? Yeah. Oh, it's too dark. I'm glad the camera's on. There it goes. <laughs> so we're thinking we got to come as close to here as possible, right? Yes. And then just kind of straight down, like how, like, you think? I mean, we can float back a touch if we want, but how far have the ones you've seen gone? They just kind of go straight. Yeah, they kind of just come straight down. Because the majority that we just got to get rid of is just like right here and right here, huh? Yeah. But we're going to cut all this out and then sheet it back in with that. We've got some like eighth inch steel here that we're going to plate it back in with. Um, they make kits to do this where the plates are already kind of pre... pre uh, cut and everything but we're cheap no those are for coilovers that's why oh really yeah that's that rrs one it basically what they do is they cut it so that it actually like dips in it's like a half moon into oh. the shock tower because you see. relocate the shock like over here oh and okay. also because i'm cheap yeah that too no that's that's right <laughs> so Oh, we'll uh, we'll play with this, figure out where we're gonna cut, see if we can save where George tried cutting it before, and then uh, kind of go from there. Why did you pick a '71 Ford Maverick? It's 300 bucks. <laughs> it's the cheapest thing I could find, literally, with the title. There's a lot of $300 vehicles out there that would be easier than this. Uh, surprisingly, there's not. <laughs> At the time, I didn't know what an LS was. All right, so we got the shock towers marked where we think we need to cut. Um, this was our first line. We decided we we're gonna go back a little bit more, give us a little bit more room. So now all that's left is to start cutting and there's no turning back after that, right, George? Yeah. I mean, it's just a 71 Maverick. It's not like we're, you know, ruining the value of it or anything. I don't even like Ford, so. <laughs> <laughs> Cheapest by now. <laughs> we got all the supplies from Harbor Freight. Geez, how many freaking flap discs do you think we're gonna need? I know I need that many. I don't know how many you need. <laughs> I'm a well or I'm a grinder, not a welder. Oh, we got cutting wheels, flap discs, grinding discs, another flap disc, some sawzall blades, wire wheel.
Oh, I got a flat disc for that. You're good. <laughs> You okay? Neighbors walking their dogs. Oh. Hey, sick shirt. They were matching. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, limited edition? Limited edition. So I feel like for all the losers who have Ford Maverick that want to do an LS swap, we should kind of tell them how much you cut. I cut that much. Yep. So if you don't want to watch a 360p video and try to figure it out, there you go. I don't really know how much I cut. Looks like enough. One of them things where you just got to try and, and see. That's centimeters. About two and a half inches in. That's where we're at. And about an inch above the control arm nuts. I think what we'll do is we'll actually get it, get it kind of mocked up, tacked in, and then actually put the engine in here before and we fully weld anything. Make sure it has enough space. Mm -hmm. State of the art CAD design or what? <clears throat> you don't know this, but I got all the fancy tools. I got CAD, you know, cardboard aided design. Basically what I'm doing here is there's like three layers of metal that were all sandwiched right here, spot welded together. When we cut it, they kind of separated a little bit, there's some gaps. I'm just trying to weld it all back together before we cover it up, just to help keep it together a little bit better. George is going to try the plasma cutter out. He's never used one before. We're going to see how well he can cut a circle. A little bit closer. Maybe eighth inch is too much. He's barely above it. Every single movement. <laughs> yeah. Cutting out like that because it's losing the ground. So oh. you just need to be a little bit closer. Yeah. 
<laughs> you're probably getting further away as you go. Maybe. Hold it. I think that's the problem. You want to hold it straight up and down. Oh, like I'm trying to angle it? Yeah, you're angling it like you're welding. Hold it straight up and down. That way easier than it is. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you might be going too fast too, so it's not keep in the heart, so you're almost done now. There you go. Oh God. Not bad. <laughs> Don't worry about that field jug behind you too. Oh yeah, that's empty. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> I have plenty of material to blow around and then we'll take the that top cap off the shock this thing yeah and then finish the yeah yeah it should work let's see how it goes Trim the edge off a little bit right there on top. But then weld it and smooth it all out. How are you liking it so far? It's actually coming out a lot better than I thought. I thought it was going to be like a flat plate going yeah. straight down like that video. Yeah. But being that it's contoured, it's actually a lot nicer. The video is not going to do it justice, but I mean. Yeah. Well, you can kind of tell from the heat marks that it kind of curves around where, it, where it's heated up a lot. Yeah. From 
from that to that. <laughs> All right, so it's later now, and we got to the point where we kind of needed the engine to make sure that our shock towers are notched enough. Um, so George went home, grabbed the engine. Uh, we're just pulling the manifolds off of it because we're pretty sure he's going to have to run them forward because of the gearbox back here. So we're just pulling those off real quick. And then I have an empty turbo 350 over here that we're going to bolt onto it for mock-up to see if that's going to fit in the trans tunnel and then we're gonna we're gonna try and uh swing this baby in there see how it fits see if what we just spent hours doing is going to work right that would be nice <laughs> i mean what you were doing but looking pretty good so far so Hopefully it fits. Dude, I'm just happy that the transmission fits. I don't have to do anything with the tunnel, like. It's fucking beautiful. <laughs> well, might as well see if it fits. Tons of clearance to your steering, it looks like. Yeah, I think it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Oh. We honestly could change, well. Yeah. Hold it again. We kind of have to move the motor up so that the exhaust manifolds are actually up in the, where we just notched. But so far it's looking pretty good. Because these are basically a copy of what you got. Yeah, the engine needs to come up because we're we're below. We're kind of like below our our notch now, so the engine's got to kind of come up a little bit. Which I just have it sitting down right now, just because to get the weight on. But which when it comes up, it wants to pull that way. Yeah. But. What about those caps and manifolds? Yeah, we'll see how those fit. I wonder how tight the trans is to the floor by the tail shaft. I don't think this one's gonna work. Cut this nub off. Damn. What about <laughs> No, I'm not even close. So we still don't have room. fit. <laughs> I don't 
don't think anything off the shelf is going to fit. I don't even know if a lock would fit. Maybe one of Omar's if he could get it really, really tight. Just get some flanges and some pipe. Start building our own. It's definitely going to have... I mean... Could go back, but it would be easier to go forward on this side. I mean, eventually the plan is to turbo it, so I mean forward is going to be the way. Yeah, true. True. Yeah, there's just no room. The engine's got to come up, transmission's got to come up, transmission's against the floor. Why'd you pick this car again? Cheapest? <laughs> There's a reason why. There's a reason why you don't see these on the road very much. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing exactly why right now. At least without some heavy modification. Yeah. Multiple thousand dollar kits. Like you got good room for a radiator though. Yeah. Maybe a fan. Engine could go back a little bit more. sleep on it a little bit see what we can figure out tomorrow all right so it's been a couple days we've slept on it we've discussed what we're going to do for headers and about the only option we could find is this set of headers right here george show us what you got got schoenfeld's bolt-ons a little bit of assembly required they're like those two-piece headers you gotta like bolt together so these are the headers we're going to use for this thing That was loud. But yeah, um, we're basically gonna have to make our own headers, we think. Um, I've never built a custom set of headers, so this is gonna be, uh, be a learning curve and uh, probably gonna take a few attempts to do. But one way or another, we're gonna get headers on this thing and we're gonna get this thing to LS Fest this year. So. Stay tuned guys, next video we'll probably start building the headers for this thing. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys are excited for this new build series on the channel. I know it's, a lot of you are here for the S10, but we kind of need something new and fresh for the channel. I can't always be working on the S10, plus it's it's taking all my money. I'm, 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 I'm spent on it, so we're going to start spending George's money instead on his project. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, if you're excited for this build, what you guys want to see. Um, like I said, it's carbureted LS, like a flat top 5.3, turbo 350. Um, just, a, just a really fun hot rod for, for George to drive around and, and take to the track. But yeah, stay tuned, guys, and we'll see you on the next